you know, <clears throat> trying to help somebody, trying to help somebody out with their crossfire engine who's having trouble. So I decided to make a video and share it with him. If this helps somebody, if this helps somebody else out, that's great. But the here's the here's the diagram. Here's the electrical diagram for the fuel injectors. Uh, the fuel pump relay, the oil pressure switch, and how it goes through the electronic control module. But coming off the battery, there's there's an orange wire that you'll see. It goes to the oil pressure switch, and it also goes to the fuel pump relay. When you and then and then once the fuel pump relay. I had somebody ask me a question about they were having issues with their uh, fuel injectors not spraying fuel and I was trying to help them out and uh, I just decided to go ahead and make a video I would just share with them and I figured I'll just uh, post it and maybe it'll help somebody else out but this is the uh, 1984 Corvette electrical sh troubleshooting shop manual and um, his issue was he uh, the injectors are not spraying fuel so I was just gonna go we've gone over a lot of stuff but apparently it's it appears to be some sort of a wiring glitch somewhere at, at least at this point but uh, the way that the fuel control the way the fuel control works, the the fuel delivery system consists of two fuel injectors, the fuel pump relay, and the fuel pump. The ECM controls all of these components. With the ignition switch in the in start, the oil pressure switch will close with normal cranking oil pressure, and here they're saying five psi. During this period of operation, the fuel pump is powered through the closed switch. The closed oil pressure switch is what they're talking about. But then it goes on, it, it doesn't real clear here, but it says as the engine starts, the current flows through terminal 18 of the ECM to the fuel pump relay. Contacts are closed and current flows to the fuel pump. As the engine starts, current flows through terminal 18 of the ECM to the fuel pump relay. Terminal 18 of the ECM fuel pump relay drive that is a dark green and white wire that goes to the fuel pump relay straight over to the ECM. This is the wiring diagram for the fuel control system right off the battery, straight off the battery, you'll see an orange wire that splits and it goes to the fuel pump relay and it goes to the oil pressure switch. It's an orange wire. And what they're talking about is this will close up and the ECM will, will feed off the fuel pump relay for a couple of seconds until it, close, until it opens up and then the oil pressure switch sees 5 psi, it will close and then the the ECM will be looking at looking to the oil pressure switch uh, for its current. I'll go back over here again. The ECM does not receive distributed reference pulses within two seconds after the ignition switch is placed and run. The fuel pump is turned off. With the ignition switch in run, voltage is applied through the in injection fuses and the fuel injectors to the ECM. The ECM rapidly opens and closes a path to ground. And then on the fuel, the uh, fuel injectors, you have the two fuses. You have a white off of injector number two. You have a white wire that goes to fuse. Injector number one has a red wire that goes to fuse. And then you've got. Injector 2 will have a green wire that goes to injector 2, pin number 9 on the electronic control module. Off injector number 1 you have a blue wire 
that goes to pin number 8, injector 1. So, if you're not getting fuel coming out of your, if you're not getting fuel coming out of your injectors, then there's probably some some sort of wiring glitch in one of these circuits. But I mean, you can see you've got G160, which we went over. G160 is ground is a ground right behind the driver's side valve cover. Uh, that grounds the fuel pump relay, and it also grounds uh, the electronic control module. Trying to figure, see if there's anything else. You also have a fuel pump fuse that you could check, but. If everything's working the way it's supposed to be working and the fuel injectors are not spitting out fuel and you said your you you said your you said you put your fuel injectors on another 84 and they were running fine they they were working so it's probably not the injectors you checked your fuses you said it was not the fuses you said you put a new oil pressure switch in, so either you got a bad oil pressure switch or it was, you know, it's wired incorrectly. You should have an orange wire coming off the battery and then a, a red wire going straight down to the ECM. A fuel pump relay. Uh, if you if you if you turn if you turn the ignition the on position and and uh, you, you can hear the fuel pump priming the system, then your fuel pump relay is working and your fuel pump's working. And if you're, you check your oil, your fuel pressure and you've got 913 PSI when you turn the ignition on, you'll turn the ignition on, the fuel pressure will bump up to somewhere between 9 and 13 PSI, then it'll drop right back off and in a couple of seconds to zero until you start cranking the engine then it'll go back up to 9 to 13 psi so if if your system's priming it means your fuel pressure uh, uh, relay is working your fuel pumps working you got good fuel pressure but you're not getting any fuel down at your fuel injectors and your fuses are okay <laughs> then you've either got a problem somewhere in your electronic control module or you've got a problem in, in some of this wiring here somewhere it's um, you can run back and check these the blue green wires and the, your white red wires you know, you, you know do a continuity test on your wires to see if you've got continuity between the fuse and the injector it's really not that hard to do uh, just do continuity tests on everything. Or you can crank your engine over and put a Noid light on your injectors and see if it's it's blinking, if it's if it's uh, flashing. My battery's getting ready to go dead on my battery on my uh, camera, but if it's if your Noid light is showing, then you're getting power there. It's got to be some sort of a wiring problem. My my opinion.